bless you bless you bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth this is opposed to peter daniel speaking to you from nigeria you are watching me in heaven and hell life program which we used to do every day monday to uh friday every day from 9 a.m to 10 a.m nigeria time god bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ uh by the special grace of god the lord is giving me a very serious message that the whole world it is not even the matter of christian now it's not the matter of church now but the whole world needs to hear this the whole world you have to share it everywhere it's going to be a little bit different in sense of uh, the message god showed to me it's a serious matter that it needs an urgent, uh, urgent, urgent attentions, attentions, attentions. So the Lord will help us. But before we, we start, let's pray, please. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Internal rock of aging, we want to bless your name. We want to give you praises. We want to appreciate you because you are faithful. Without glorified in the name of Jesus, our everlasting Father, we pray this morning that you sent your power. You sent the power of your word. We pray, oh Lord, that you open our eyes to see you, Lord. You open our ear to hear, oh Lord. You open our heart to receive you, oh Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, Father, that you open our understanding to understand the things of the Spirit, oh Lord, and our knowledge to see, to see, to see, and to understand the mystery of your kingdom. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you and I will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, the Lord showed me some revelation that keep me speechless since morning. I have been, I have been very in fact, I've been worried, very worried, you know, I, 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 in fact, deep in thought and praying. I've been praying this morning, praying for direction, praying for how to do it. I pray that the Lord God will save you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's not a new thing. It's one of the things that God has been warning us for, that God is showing to me again. About two days ago, or three days, I have the same revelation, but today the one I saw gave me a serious attention, like a serious, serious matter. In that revelation on this morning, I saw that I was in a house with my people. We were talking, and suddenly, I saw bomb being thrown down from an helicopter. The bomb was so serious that they were like they were not just one helicopter. It was not one plane that they used. So there were many. Those who are inside the helicopter, I don't know whether they are soldiers, they are outsiders. I don't know. I don't. I cannot. I cannot figure out exactly what it is. And they are throwing the bomb down, throwing the bomb down. Then I was in that house, and at the same time, I could see what is happening outside. You know, when you are in the house, there's a roof that will cover you. But in that revelation, I could, the roof was taken away. So I was able to see what is going on. Yet I'm in the house. So I was able to see what is going on all over the world it was not one country it was not one state i look at my right and like my, my left like this as i look at my left what i saw was from me come and see our houses and how people are dying i see their slaughtering animal in fact bomb everywhere 
as I was see, I was see big, big thing. In fact, what I saw is more than what, so I don't know what they use. That thing, when they throw it, like different houses, we collapse and, you know, that fire immediately. So I don't know how this thing is. It was coming like a, 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 a fireball. I, I don't know how to say it. It was just coming. So as I was looking there, I said, everybody back, 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 let's run, let's run, let's run. I saw in that revelation that I was parking my car outside. I told them, everybody, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But what I mean is that people are not yet prepared. I look at the TV in that revelation. I look at the TV. My, what came into my mind in that revelation was, haven't they announced this before? before? And like maybe everybody still, oh, there's going to be war or something like that, I don't know. I look at it and something spoke to my ear and said it's going to happen unexpectedly. The thing just spoke into my ear. I could hear it. I could hear it clearly. I could hear it soundly. He spoke to me and said, it's going to happen unexpectedly. Without announce, without anything, without any information. You will not know it's going to be normal day. There will no sign at all that it's going to be war. There's no sign that it's going to be like that. It's as if the world is going to collapse at once. So he, the Lord was telling me in that revelation, he said it's going to be as a normal day, as we're talking now. Imagine it just happened like this. No, 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 no. Are you prepared? No. Where is your children? You don't even know whether they are at home or, or I don't know. It's going to happen on a normal daily basis, like in normal life. It's not going to be, you are not going to be aware, no information, no preparation, like you will not know. Suddenly, it got up. That's what he told me in the year. I said, ah, I, as I look at the TV, that is where the voice, the, the voice spoke to me. And he said, it's going to happen on that we are untold, not informed. Please, I beg you in the name of God. What I am telling you is the truth. I saw it this morning before I wake up. It was so clear. I was so afraid. Was when I look at the TV, I look back. I said, Everybody, some people were still carrying, trying to carry some things, but it was too late. So, as I took, as I look at them, I said, Fast, we do have that, we do have that. As I do look, turn them like that, my looking at the front again, I see Bob coming. I look at my, my, my right hand, I see Bob coming. I look at my back, I see Bob coming. I said, Ah. So in that revelation, they say it's going to happen all four corners. What wanted to happen, I don't know. He said it's going to happen all four corners. I was like, ah. I said, let's go, let's go, let's go. Leave everything. Save your life first. I said, leave everything. Save your life first. Let's go. As I was saying, let's go. The, that. As, as I was saying, I just look front like this. The, it's as if the Lord showed me the road. I saw people carrying their children, their wives trying to run away. As they were running away, the bomb they threw just passed on the car and busted it. Road has destroyed. No more roads to pass. But in that revelation, it's as if, as I was saying, let's go, let's go. It's as if there's another place I'm going to pass. I don't know. But I, like, I still have a little hope that if you can move, they see a little hope. I was shouting, I was the thing was so serious. And the Lord spoke to my ear. He said, if you love your family, one day, to start preparing now. Listen, what I saw, what I saw today, it's not the matter of preparing anymore. It's the matter of taking action. You that you are in white country, I have said it before. As at uh, last, is it last year or this year? January. I've told you to go back home. Do 
don't just go back home. If you do have a place of refuge, I'm going to use this opportunity to announce publicly. There's a prayer camp we are building by the grace of God. If anybody wanted to join, to join us in it, please do. It's not the matter of the matter of uh, we want to wait uh, and uh, I said I'll be applying for my visa and uh, I still have to work for one month or two months. It's not like that. I'm begging you the know God. Run for your life. It's the time for you to go and run. Not because of the war only, but you also need to prepare yourself for rapture. Run, 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 run. Take it fast. Pick it fast, fast. It's not the time to stay in the cities. It will not be safe. Because they are tired to be in the city so that people can die as, as seriously. I'm begging you in the name of God, don't think about your door. A you bad said, one year me said, oh, good to in here. Meaning, the, 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 the life of God is more longer than the human one. Don't think about it. The truth is that Jesus is coming. Before, about two, three days ago, I saw something similar. I, I suddenly went out and I saw the earth and hope. What was coming was like a serious. I was shouting, I said, hey, hey, is, what is this one? Is it rapture or what? Or is war or what is this? So please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of Christ Jesus. Don't take this as a joke. Say in the foreign land will not help you. I said, I know their type. I know their type. Now, so they're there for, for everywhere. They just want to uh, tell people to go back home. So that they can start from square one. Which kind of square one? We start to tell you that you have to stay square one. Now that Jesus Christ is about to come. Prepare. Prepare. Run for your life. I beg you. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run, run for your life, for your life. Run for your life. Before the thing caught you. You know what I was, I was talking about uh, uh, COVID-19? Now they are forcing people now to collect it. You don't collect it, you don't work. Except some people, maybe some places you can, they can see secretly work. The authority will come out very soon. Everything is changing now. You cannot fight for your right anymore. Everything is changing, totally changing. Because the devil has captured the whole world. Please run for your life. This is what I saw today. When I was praying, the Lord said, as you announce it to your woman. If you do have a prayer camp, I don't just miss a normal, a prayer camp. Where you can go to, you can contact me. By the grace of God, the one God asks us to do, the Lord is taking control. You can contact me. Please, just make sure you need. And if you have, just make sure you need and go. I pray the Lord Jesus Christ will help you, we save you, we deliver you from what is to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray he will deliver you. Your children will not lose their life. And you yourself will not love your, your life. Please save yourself. This is the message God has for, for you today. And this is what God asked me to tell you. There's nothing more I can say than what I'm telling you. If you love your house and your property, and you believe that you don't want to be because of them, then you are on your own. But this is what I want you to know. It's two things. Is that you make it to heaven or you go to heaven. And no disobedient child you ever make it. It's the love that God has now that is telling us. You know how many times that God has repeated the war, war. About last time, I told you about the, the angel of war that I saw. 
this again I have revelation of it about work. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. We will not end in hell and we will not partake. The Lord has promised that anyone that will stay going to this prayer camp and stay there in his presence, that is going to guide them there. Even though everything is happening in the world, he will guide them there. That's what God told me. And that's what we are acting on. God has been helping us and will continue to help us. He said he will guide them there. I don't know when it's going to happen. But as what I'm seeing is something that can happen as any time as from now. Any time from now can happen. What I saw in Revelation, any time from now it can happen. God bless you. God be with you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We not miss it in Jesus' name. Please subscribe to the button. Don't forget share this to your family so that their blood will not be in your neck. Like they will, they will not say, ah, hey, I, but my sister know about this. He didn't tell me. Share it to your friends. Share it everywhere. Let them hear what the Lord is saying. Let them hear what the Lord is saying. Let them hear what the Lord is saying. Share it to everyone. God bless you and God be with you. It is what we take this Sunday. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button so that you can hear more of what God is telling us. God bless you. It is what we take. Bye.